Are you wishing and praying for a miracle to get better health? Well, if so, I'm going to show you exactly what you need to start doing so that miracle can happen right away. Hey, in case you don't know me, my name is Jason Cheney, and I help people uh, to learn how to lose weight by transitioning to a plant-based diet. But most importantly, I help them start addressing their self-image when it comes to their food home. So they don't have to just worry about gaining weight again, but they also get a better health. And so let's go ahead and get into it. Like all this week, I think I'm just going to go ahead and just talk about attitude because it's so important. And I keep seeing over and over and over again from questions I'm getting that once they get the answer, their attitude kicks into play and then they don't want to accept the answer as truth. And this is very crucial because you have to admit where you're ignorant in life. And this is one of the things that got me to where I am today looking at you. When I came to the point that I was 550 plus pounds, I couldn't tie my shoes. I was on a CPAP machine because I couldn't breathe at night anymore. I was taking over 40 pills a day just to manage pain and blood pressure and all these other things. I had hypertension. Uh, I was having other issues uh, physically. I couldn't walk well. I had to admit that I was ignorant with health. I had no understanding of health. And a lot of us, sometimes we want to think when someone says ignorant, like it's an insult. There's nothing wrong with being ignorant. We all have ignorance in certain areas of our lives. They're right, like I tell you right now, I, have, I am ignorant in a lot of areas of my life right now because there's things I just don't care about. The only thing that I care about of having understanding is, is my relationship with my wife and my health. Nothing else matters to me in this life. I don't care about football. I don't care about sports. I don't care about celebrities, reality TV. If you ask me anything about that, I'm gonna just tell you, I don't know, I'm ignorant because I don't care about those things. And so really think about this. Do you have more understanding with your health or what's going on in reality TV right now? Can you tell me more what's going on on some Real Housewives crap? Or can you tell me more about how you can eat healthy each and every day? And the answer is gonna be no, because most people do not have any understanding of health because we weren't taught health. Most of us, the most uh, health advice we've ever learned, or health education, if you want to call it education, came from the public school system, which taught us, which was being taught to us by some coach who wasn't healthy. Now, I don't mean this to be rude or disrespectful because they meant well, but meaning well is not going to get you well. Those are two different things. This is why your doctor haven't been able to give you health that you want. And think about it. How many years have you been seeing and paying your doctor and you still have high blood pressure? You still have diabetes. You're still suffering from some forms of cancer or something. You're still having migraine ha uh, headaches. You still have PCOS if you're a woman. You still have uh, erectile dysfunction if you're a man. The reason being is your doctor does not have understanding of health. They went to school to learn pharmaceutical meds. They learned what the pharmaceutical industries taught them. And there's nothing wrong with that. This pharmaceutical has a very significant place in health and the health and wellness where we live now in the world. It helps extend some people's lives. Some people need that so they can keep living. So like one of the doctors that I actually study, study under, Dr. Brooke Goldner, when she was 16 years old, she was dying of lupus. She was hitting kidney failure, all that. She needed medicine to help her survive. But once she was able to get off the medicine through changing her lifestyle, she changed her attitude towards health and started becoming healthier. She doesn't need it anymore. And this is what the, the big difference is. So many people are trying to tell you like, oh, doctors are just horrible. You don't need pills. You don't need all of this. You may need it at a certain point in your life. But if you start changing your attitude towards health and just being healthier each and every day, you can maybe not need it anymore. Those are two different worlds. Like for me, when I was needing 40 pills a day to survive to who I am today are not even the same people. That person is dead. I killed that image of me. I, I don't have that self image anymore. And that's what I mean. Also, when I say I help people transition their self image when it comes to their food home, because I don't have the self image of a 550 plus pound fat person anymore. I'm not a 550 plus pound pound fat person anymore. I don't have the self image of someone who's pre-diabetic. I don't have the self image of someone who had heart issues. Like all of these things that I was struggling with that people didn't see because on the, you know, people wasn't worried about my, my health and my life like that. You know how many people were telling me like, oh, you look great, Jason. Oh, you look good, Jason. And that was a fucking lie. Like, I'm just gonna be straight up honest with you. When I look back at those pictures and when I share them throughout my social medias, I don't do that to show so people can say, oh, good job, Jason. Oh, you're amazing. I don't need people to boost my ego. I boost my ego myself. 
Every day I wake up, I tell myself I'm the sexiest, I'm the most healthiest, and I'm the finest motherfucker walking this earth. Every single day, and I do it in a Samuel L. Jackson voice too. But that's what I mean. Like the reason why I share these pictures and all this stuff is because I want you to see like what is possible. If you start changing your attitude towards health, you can become the healthiest person that you want to be. And you don't even know what that can look like. There was times when I was dreaming of not having to just not having a uh, needing a CPAP machine to breathe at night. And if you've ever seen someone use a CPAP or if you're using one now, you know that is miserable. You don't sleep good. It interferes with your relationship with your love, significant other, and it just fucking sucks. Like you're wearing this machine, it's scratching up your face, you start getting blisters all around your nose and you look like some some weird leper or something. And like, it sucked. Life was not fun back then. Life wasn't fun in 550 plus pounds. Yeah, I mean, I was eating a lot of delicious food, but I wasn't enjoying life. And that's what you have to start focusing on your attitude. Like, what do you want to enjoy? Because we can keep eating ourselves to the grave or we can start eating ourselves to life. And if you don't want to change anything about your attitude towards health, don't expect anything about your health to change towards you because it's not going to change. And just to end it on this, like, really think about this. If you don't have any clue of how to be healthy or healthier, why are you arguing or trying to fight when someone's trying to give you the information? Really think about that. Because you don't have to live the, like, your life like me. But all you have to do is just do a little better each and every day. If you do one thing better than what you did yesterday, each and every day you wake up, you're going to become a lot better of a person health-wise later on down the line. These things compound. It's just like compounding interest in a bank. Your health compounds too. We are what we eat. And that is so powerful of words. Like we need to really start realizing that. And start looking at the things that you eat. If you're eating ribs, if you're eating pork and all of that, go and look at what that animal looked like. Have you ever seen a pig or a hog? They're fat. They're disgusting. They stink. Have you ever seen a cow? Like I see cows here and uh, out here uh, close to where I live, like there's a little farm. Like, is that what you want to be having three, four stomachs, having a bunch of chins? And I'm not saying this to be mean, but like really think about it. You are what you eat. And we have to stop this misconception and these lies of eating carbohydrates, eating potatoes, eating fruits and vegetables is going to kill you. If you have diabetes now, you probably haven't been eating fruits and vegetables or in enough quantity that you need. So why would eating something that you don't ever eat or hardly ever eat actually make you worse? Like this is the type of mentality going to our doctors have taught us. Doctors do not know health. They don't have any more than usually eight hours of nutrition training throughout their whole life. Like this is what I mean. You can go through and talk to you can probably talk to one person. Probably you'll find one person in a year or two years that can even tell you one piece of sound health advice. If you don't know where to go to find health, you're never going to find it by talking to the people in your community. And your community is not a healthy community. This is one of the reasons why I got out of my community. Like people, like when I go back home now, when I go visit people and I see how they eat and I'm like, hey, that's your life. Like, I don't judge people for what they want to do, but it doesn't mean that I'm going to do what they want me to do. And you don't need to be doing what people want you to do. You need to do what you want to do to get to the goals that you want to achieve. So I hope you got some value from that. Hit the like button if you like this type of content. And if you want to keep getting more information on how to be healthier, how to just do things better then go ahead and just click the link up above or below and subscribe to the YouTube channel. All my videos are archived there, plus I have videos just for YouTube on there, and I have little things on there where it's showing you like, what are the, uh, three, uh, what, three foods that are great for weight loss? If you're someone who's anemic, like who's uh, had suffered from anemia, like what are some foods that you can get your iron in naturally? You may not know that instead of taking, uh, you know, like they tell us uh, iron comes from meat, the truth is the iron that is in meat is called heme iron. It is highly oxidative to our body, meaning it's rusting the insides of our body out. This is why you don't have as much energy. This is why your iron levels are never improving and you still have to take iron pills and iron supplements. Like if you start knowing where to get the sources from correctly, you will start getting better. And there is a certain way we must eat if we want to improve our health. And if you don't know that certain way, you must learn it from someone who does know it. And so I hope you got some value. Have a great day and I'll see you tomorrow. Stay supercharged.